Okay. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, woo, you guys got you guys got some interesting reading here. You guys, as your underlying energy, have the Empress. So this is all about manifestation, what you guys want to manifest into your life. For some of you guys, especially you gentlemen out there, this could be about a specific type of woman who you see a potential future with. Um, for the ladies, you know, I feel like this is you guys wanting to actually manifest a relationship with someone or giving birth to a situation to begin a, you know, comfortable comfortable relationship or domestic situation here um for a lot of you guys this can be still an attractive man maybe have fem feminine looking features i don't know but you typically it's not for some of you guys you guys could be dealing with a taurus straight up um if it's not a taurus then this is or you know or a venus ruled woman like a, a libra uh this could definitely still be um someone that you know someone that is either that for the for the gentleman this is about you know someone that or for the gentlemen that are you know straight um this is for like you know a woman that you find it very attractive someone that you find that you know that resonates with home this could be your mother for a lot of you guys even men or, man or woman um for a lot of you other people out there is with um for especially for like the women or you know this or anyone that's not that doesn't really drive with this you know the opposite sex you know what i'm saying that kind of have other sexual preferences. I feel like this is about giving birth to a situation, giving birth to manifesting and uh, making it happen. And honestly, what's underneath that is hope there too, the star. The star. Give them, you, you're able, I feel like right in the past, you had you, you had a hard time with achieving hope, but I, feel, I think you finally got it. And now you're in this place of what to manifest. Okay, so very very clear and the reason why i brought up the gentleman part especially because of all the doggone kings like who the hell is this there's a lot of fixed either there's a lot of fixed energy or what because that's just weird you know what i'm saying but hey what is what it is it's general reading let's go ahead and get into this your first card here your current state of being is the devil and i'm not getting bad vibes from the devil i'm getting the only vibes i'm getting from the devil right here is that this is a karmic relationship you feel very tied to this person or this person is very tied to you and i feel like it's obviously reciprocated there's no doubt i feel like it's reciprocated um karmic relationship no doubt i feel like there is something that you may feel like you can't really run away from you can't break away from it just is what it is it's at the end of the day capricorn this is also your card so that's not a bad thing that means that you know i feel like you, you are striving to find power in your relationship and find power in this dynamic of a, of this connection that you have with this other person um, so right now you are, you know, I feel like right now you're trying to find the control that you have or the power that you have in your current dynamic, despite how you may feel about being trapped, not able to do what you want to do or leave the relationship at all. You still are trying to find the, trying to find the power, despite the situation being like this, where you can't, where you feel like you can't break out of it. Now in your hopes, sorry, in your hopes, not your hopes and fears, but your goals, where you want to be is the fool. You want to be free. You want to let the wind flow in your hair, blow in your, blow through your hair rather. You want to take a risk, honestly, as well. And I feel like, oh, that's why the Seven of Swords fell out. It also, Seven of Swords isn't just doing something cleverly. It's also taking a risk and doing something um, out of sight of your comfort zone to complete a cycle, which judgment did come up for you. Um, so I feel like y'all do want to take a risk. You guys want to kind of go out on a limb, honestly, and kind of let your you know your heart and let your heart lead you while your wits you know guide you okay all right so um yeah the fool is an awesome energy but i feel like it's starting something new all around like in every aspect that's you know breaking free and being you know and having a fresh start and i don't think this is honestly oh, in spite of the relationship i feel like you want to be free in the connection but you have to find your freedom first when yourself but the thing that's keeping you from the fool is the Six of Swords. There isn't really a lot of moves being made right now. When the Six of Swords comes up, I feel like there's distance between you and this person. There's distance between you and yourself, honestly. There's a transition that needs to be done, but it's not being done right now, okay? And I feel like it has a lot to do with the with the King of Wands. It has So this fixed sign could be a Leo, but it also can be a Aries Sagittarius. Um, it could be that there's also this person is very, um, um, this person is very, um, in the public eye. They're very, they're seen by a lot of people on um, the very public, um, and they're popular. 
um this person i feel like also is very attractive physically um and considering this is a general reading there's no you know the sexes don't matter for the with this car um i really feel like this person has this really awesome like like ruthless streak like they can they if they want something they're gonna go get it no doubt about it and i feel like the reasoning for why they you know the reason why you're not able to move or, or do what you need to do which is the six of swords here like transition or whatever is because this person is in the limelight you feel like they their 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 confidence is overwhelming for sometimes maybe let me see why what in what respect is the six of swords coming up for capricorn as their blockage ten of swords whoa all right so you haven't moved on from something that happened in the past you haven't moved on that's what it's telling me you haven't been you haven't really been able to make that transition to um to recovery you haven't recovered from this person that you find very attractive okay you haven't gotten over them and it's true and that's why you probably feel st trapped it's because you haven't gotten over them and it's they they come up as the king of wands this is honestly looking like a twin flame relationship it's just because this card is you know this card is here the king of wands comes up um and you would come up as queens there is a, a lick of queen in here okay lick of queens at all like this is all king so this is talking about your your other half this is talking about the other person this is all external to me there's a lot of external energy here there's a lot of someone else in this in this reading um yeah i just automatically kind of suggest you watch aquarius so your best advice is to find is is to find the you know the freedom in your connection right because the lovers is the exact opposite of the devil the devil seems very restricting and very trapping when it really isn't it's all about how you see it and what you use the connection for and you know what you know what the devil is used for is usually for you know entrapment and escapism um so the devil is like i'm not doing anything to you you're doing it to yourself i'm just here to you know to provide the service because you let me so with this lover's card here as your hopes and uh, not your hopes and fears but i don't know why i'm trying to get to your hopes and fears so fast i see the queen the king of swords and it's like oh let's jump into that but no in your advice it's saying to make your head of heart decision about what you want to do and then do what you need to do find that do it go ahead and get her done right um i'm not saying i'm seeing a third party relationship here even though it very well could be i'm not seeing that um jesus but um this is just like a really really serious relationship here goodness gracious this connection is strong man and it's undeniable it's completely undeniable now for your emotions you have the page of cups you you guys know what your heart's desire is now i'm going to quickly clarify this uh i'm pretty much sure that all the cards are pretty much used from this whole entire deck but you have a, you have your heart's desire you know what you want you know you know that you have something to offer emotionally here and i feel like you guys are wanting to express that you want to give that to this person whoever this is either you know a fire sign a water sign sorry a fire sign an earth sign or an air sign just too many cards what why okay why is page of cups in capricorn's feelings okay Can I just shuffle? Whoa. Oh. I mean, I really feel like that's just your heart's desire. Yep, Knight of Pentacles. Okay. Yep, you guys are very focused on what it is that you want. You're taking, you, you're trying to plan out, trying to make plans on how to, to make it happen, I feel like, with the Knight of Pentacles. Because yeah it's procrastination sometimes but it's also um it's also um you know making progress it's progress so i feel like you guys have this this you know puppy love somewhat somewhat you know that's what page of cups is all about right the small little spark it's not like the ace of cups it can't be like the ace of cups because it's not the ace of cups right it's a child it's a child holding the cup expressing themselves expressing their emotions so it's something small, but it's some, but it still is very significant, significant enough to come up in your feelings with the Knight of Pentacles. 
So there's a lot of working towards building this love with this person. And honestly, you know what you want. So it's all about making the plans and the steps possible to go ahead and do that. Now, the Nine of Pentacles, I always see as a potential procrastinator. And um, the reason why I say that is because, yes, they're doing the work, they're taking their time and doing the details, but they kind of can get caught up in the details and end up steering away from the main focus. So, yeah, it ends up being procrastination, not on purpose. So be very careful that you guys are not thinking too hard about what, you know, how to materialize what you want and just going for it because that's what the fool does. The fool goes for it. And making up your mind and making up the decision and feeling the connection, allowing the connection consume you is what is, what, what is looking like it's the best path to follow. But you have to release first. You have to release whatever happened in the past and truly recover from what happened in the past. Whatever, whatever happened, happened. You still have a connection with this person. You know, you still have something very strong and very loving with this person. Make it happen. Your hopes and fears, you have the King of Swords. I feel like you want the King of Swords, or you want to become the King of Swords, um, or you want to communicate with the King of Swords and Aquarius, which is this, the card of this, um, or you guys are wanting to be more communicative, um, talk to people, or talk to the person that you want to you know, that you want to be with, um, be more confident in what your truth is, to know your truth as well. But this is a very serious card, man. Especially the card that doesn't really, not even in the right suit that you belong to, which is crazy. So, so yeah, um, I feel like the hopes and fears is talking about the queen, the king of swords. Like you want, there's you some want you want something with this king of swords, so this Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini, um, or an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You want something? There's something here with this. I feel like you honestly are worried about being slashed up because of whatever happened, whatever bad thing happened here, or you're afraid to kind of put yourself out there because you know that they probably will be justified in what they may say to you because the King of Swords doesn't really hold back. You see, yeah, you see them as ruthless and they have a sharp tongue. Yeah, it's a little scary, but it's all about what what you feel and what you want. Is it is, you, is what you want more is stronger than what they're going to say to you? Because it seems like it seems like your your emotions are trying are really really strong here. Oh wow, the king of the queen of pentacles. That's very very interesting. The queen the to clarify the king of swords, you get the queen of pentacles. Wow. All right. So yeah, this is the yeah this is like some some this is you literally the queen of pentacles is you. Queens are cardinal signs. Pentacles is earth sign so the cardinal sign for the earth sign is capricorn as you and what you want is the king of swords maybe you're afraid to detach and afraid to kind of be the, you know away from your emotions and stuff so focused and so driven on work that you end up you know losing touch with your emotions or, or utilizing or just being more so logical and practical that you no longer connect with your emotions that could be a fear in itself as well because you're feeling all these you know emotions perhaps you want to get back to this but most importantly guys i feel like there is a king of swords that you guys are trying to match up with um because in your outcome you have the king of pentacles someone that is your king right the someone that is your other half someone that king or you know if you are a man man or woman this is talking about your other half this is talking about someone you know this other person that's coming in this could be dealing with a taurus cap or another capricorn or a virgo but i honestly feel like this is talking about someone else because you have the king of swords as your hopes and fears and then you have the king of wands as a reason why you can't move on from something that happened very devastatingly right this hit your heart really badly and you haven't recovered from it so this this Dude, this person, woman, man, woman, what, whoever it is, they are fixed. They are a fixed sign. They're very, they're very open-minded. They can be. They're very, you know, charming. They have a very alluring personality. They're 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 very vibrant in their energy. But they have this quality about them that makes you feel very safe and stable and and stable enough to begin manifesting something real with this person. So wow okay wow your entire reading is pretty much telling me that making a move and manifesting what you want is the best path to follow right now and 
making decisions about what you want and then utilizing the connection to do that knowing that you know if this is the love connection that you want going for it is the best way is 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 what needs to be done but you have to get over these old issues you have to really recover from some devastations it's time to do that especially if you want to manifest especially uh manifest a relationship with this person okay and the card you have here is worth waiting for jesus okay and this is divine timing is at work in your love life okay oh capricorn jesus christ you're gonna be i mean this person is everything to you man they're sexy they're very good at communicating and they're very stable in your eyes but the thing that's keeping you from from connecting you and them connecting is the distance and then and not moving for not moving from uh, moving on from an O situation chop wood you guys need to do something because that's what the chop wood is all about right it's all about what actions you take right now and that is super important what your plans are what you willing to do and putting in the work to get, to get it done the six of swords is not an easy energy to get through so i'm not going to sit here and say oh guys get over it it's over and stuff okay the race is over just get up no 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 six of swords is still a really hard energy just no matter how long it's been since you had this it's still hard to do okay because you are and especially since you are a fixed sign or not fixed sign you are an earth sign it's going to be hard for you to make any sort of transitions because you're you know you guys are very more you're not more grounded than the rest of the sign uh, the rest of the signs in the zodiac so yeah no way is this energy gonna be easy but in order to manifest what you want you will need to go through and go ahead and make the steps to release this energy release this oh my god this ended and i didn't i let it end like this no you can make something happen you can do something different and you know you can and i feel like you can you with the page of cups let's talk about that's a new spark. It's a spark of something. Even if pages anywhere are sparks of something, little, little, little beginnings that, you know, they're little seeds. They're not maybe, they're not as big as aces, but they're little seeds. It's a starting point, right? And you have this starting point here where you know where your heart's desire is. You know what you want and you want to go get it. You know you want to go get it, but it's all about how, how bad the, the situation was in the past. You got to get over this. You have to jump over this hurdle. It's going to be hard to do, and I'm not saying that it's going to be easy. But you know, but you, but I want you to understand that once you do this, the manifestation that you're having out here, especially when it comes to, you know, manifesting what you guys want, especially for this person to come back, if this is what you guys want, you have to release that, and that's the only thing that's keeping you. It's to surrender to con to the connection. And, ex and accept what happened in the past was the best thing you could do at the time, okay? Forgive yourself, forgive the person, forgive the situation, and accept that, the, yes, the, the past happened, that was the best you guys could do with the knowledge that you had at the time, but you can do something about it now. You can be, you can do something amazing with the, with, with the now, okay? Don't worry about the past. 